Hello and welcome to the series of Rapid Minor videos. My name is Dr. Marcus Hoffman and I'm a lecturer at the Institute of Technology Blanchardstown and also the principal investigator of this project funded by the Irish National Digital Learning Repository. The series of Rapid Minor videos was created in close collaboration with Ralph Klinkenberg and Dr. Ingo Merswa, the two founding members of Rapid Minor. More videos as well as additional material to some videos can be found at www.rapidminorresources.com. I would now like to introduce Ralph Klinkenberg, who will talk you through this tutorial. Welcome to Rapid Miner. This video demonstrates how to train a neural network for a classification problem and how to evaluate its performance. So let's first start by setting up a cross-validation setup for evaluating the classification learner. And let's replace the neural network, sorry, and let's replace the default learner decision tree by a neural network. Let's add a data set for the training and evaluation. And we'll pass out the result as well as the um, average performance. So let's run the process and see what the result is. The standard neural network has one input layer corresponding to the number of input variables, one output layer corresponding to the number of possible outcomes and one hidden layer in between. And the strength of the connections between the neurons indicates the weight that is the importance of this connection. So you can basically see that the variables 3 and 4 from the input are, are stronger or have a higher impact than the variables 1 and 2, which also corresponds to the importance of that variables as seen in a simple data visualization or correlation analysis in earlier videos. Looking at the performance, we see that um, in a tenfold cross-validation, the neural network achieves 97.3% accuracy. The Zetola cases are 100% classified correctly. The vesicular cases are classified 94% correctly. There are only three errors. And the Virginica cases are 98% correct. And there's only one error. So this performance is quite good. Let's take another look at the neural network itself. So I double click on the cross validation and mark the neural net. What are the most important parameters of a neural network? Well, first of all, it's the architecture. Usually the neural network is a three layer architecture that is one input layer, one hidden layer and the output layer. And um, you have the option to use as many hidden layers as you like. And you just click on here and say, well, I would like to have two hidden layers, for example. You can give those hidden layers names, like hidden one and hidden two. You can specify their size. Minus one needs, means it's automatically um, determined using heuristic, but you could also define it yourself. For example, you could say, you both, they both should be ten, uh, of size 10. And, um, well, what other parameters do we have? The number of training cycles, like how many iterations does a neural network use until the training is completed? The learning rate, that is, how fast are the, and how much are the weights changed each step they have to be corrected? So this is like a factor 
assigned to the, the weight updates. The higher the factor, the higher the update. That means the faster the learning, but the higher also the risk to overshoot um, and to have to correct that maybe in a second round of learning. The momentum is like an acceleration. So if the learning rate change um, of the weight goes into the same direction a couple of times, the um, increased um, the amount of the weight change is increased, and this uh, the momentum describes how much the amount is actually increased. So these are the most important parameters. A, a high learning rate leads to fast adaptation, but also to oscillation. If it's too high, that means never really hits the perfect point, but jumps back and forth around this perfect point. Similarly, momentum can accelerate the learning, but can also lead to overshooting. A smaller learning rate leads to more stable results, but increases the runtime significantly. So there's a trade-off between having a small and a large learning rate. Okay, let's just evaluate the changed setting with two hidden layers. And let's see what the performance change is. If we can improve the 97.3% accuracy. As you can already see in the training takes some time. In the bottom you see how far the learning technique already is. Here's a modified neural network architecture. You can clearly see the two somewhat larger hidden layers and also the the weight of the input examples now has changed. So the whole architecture has changed in a sense. And in this particular case, the accuracy was actually worse than before. Um, so there's some hint for overfitting at that point. Thank you very much for your attention. For further information on RapidMiner, please go to www.rapidminerresources.com or www.rapid-i.com. If you are interested in upskilling, please go to www.itb.ie where you will find more information about our distance learning MSc in computing science in business intelligence and data mining. Many thanks to the Irish National Digital Learning Repository for funding this video.